Na na na. Welcome I'm back, smoking. Tom Gaffey, yeah, to the stage Jim. of the Phoenix Theater. And Illuminarly. For and Illuminarly. Tonight, we welcome the Illuminarly to the stage of the Phoenix Theater. Yeah, yeah. And actually, we want to welcome our new uh, sponsor, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh, yes. Yes, we are. In we Pabst. thank you. Yes. We, thank we, you got, we got the big check today, the so we can Ooh. finally unveil the corporate sponsorship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These things don't pay for themselves. No. no. They so, Blue thank you, Pabst. <laughs> thank you, Pabst. <laughs> But we are thrilled tonight to welcome the Illuminarly to the program because yeah. they all have history performing on this stage and they will as well tonight be performing as the Illuminarly as part of this broadcast. So yeah. welcome to the show, friends. Thank you, <laughs> Thank right. you Thank for having us. Thank, Thank you, you Jim. Much. You guys have described this project uh, as one that you wanted to be as fun and as, as cheesy as could be. Uh, my dear friend Tom here loves cheesy oh, things. I love cheesy. What do you yeah. love about cheese? Oh, it's, I think, <laughs> the coolest end of, of creativity. It's my favorite side of creativity. I mean, one of my first experiences with creativity was this tune that I wrote when I was in high school. It was all written around the line, shot a man just the other day. <laughs> <laughs> How cheesy can that be? <laughs> Tell us about that song. Oh, that song? Shot a man just the other day. Yeah, shot a man How'd just the other day. How'd you fill it out with other lyrical content? Oh, let's see. You know, let's see. It kind of writes uh, itself, I feel like. I'm yeah. two nights into hell and my body is burning and fading and, I, and I'm dying, might as well, because without you, there's no use in waiting. My wow. heart cries for your touch. My soul screams. It knows that it wants you, and I need you very much. So tell me, please, what can I do? What can I do? God, I love that tune. <laughs> you know, how cheesy is that? Now. That is yeah. so cheesy. <laughs> no, I love that stuff. Do you still consider the project to be cheesy? It's not like it's intentionally cheesy, but it's like we're already playing surf, so it's basically if it liberates us to if, hey, this idea is kind of cheesy. Who cares? We're already playing surf. This project that you guys are in now uh, does not have a vocalist. No. Okay. Um, and so I, I read this long interview you guys did with the Santa Rosa J.C. Oakleaf, so I, I pulled some things here and there. Uh, one of the things you said is that uh, it's purposefully abstract and that you're not trying to say anything. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. Would, would everybody agree that you're not trying to say I anything? I don't think we remember saying it, but yeah. that's, yeah, <laughs> we'll stick to it. Yeah. Does everyone agree that with the songs, you're not trying to say anything? No, definitely, definitely not. not. No, nothing. We're, anything. we're purposefully yeah. trying to say, we are it, If anything, it's like, a, it's like a stream of consciousness kind of thing. It's, it's a Which lot of it. Which is something. It, it is something, but it's, it's more just like, hey, we watched the sci-fi original. How did that make you feel? <laughs> Maybe feel like this. <laughs> you know, it's just like that kind of thing. It would know? make me so happy if you could zoom in a little bit on that statement <laughs> and uh, and tell me which song was influenced by which sci-fi original. Oh, well, an obvious one is off our first record, The End Is Nar. Okay. It's called Piranaconda. Yeah. And it was called something else at first, but we saw the movie Piranaconda and we're like, that name just fits the song, <laughs> it, like to a T. And we're like... It was also an amazing movie. It was... An immaculate movie. <laughs> had no idea it was a movie. Yeah. You had no idea? No idea. The, the whole group didn't. I'm pretty sure Michael idea. Madsen's in that movie. Yeah. He is so. in that movie. He is in that movie. Yeah. yeah. What happens in Piranha Condo? Well, <laughs> a piranha <laughs> and uh, an anaconda are conjoined. Uh-huh. We don't know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. It, it eats people for about an hour and a half. Yeah. And... Uh, Michael Madsen's in there. Michael Madsen's in there. I really do feel like the social, like political commentary that from Jurassic Park about how the ethical implications of scientific uh. progression. <laughs> I feel like where Jurassic Park left off, Piranha Conda picked up that torch, you know, and just like took it to its natural end, you know? It's like Ian Malcolm's evolution. Exactly. Which is just eating people yeah. for chaos. an hour and a half. It's yeah. chaos. So you're not necessarily like trying to express thoughts you're trying to express feelings exactly we're, we're more just yeah we're not ex we're not trying to put together thoughts and put them out yeah we're just aiming to terrify exactly oh, sure sure sure, sure. sure. No. yeah <laughs> i like that uh it, but you were in a band called batman versus predator yeah that we, was a non-vocalist band or no did, nothing yeah nothing they they eventually ended up doing vocals after i left okay and yeah, I thought did, they did. did you leave or were you asked to leave no i left okay. i i was it, it was, time. It was tired, yeah. It was tired. It was and you left and the project collapsed. 
<laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. just you know, just historically. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Don't leave us, Mike. You uh, were quoted recently as saying, um, "Quoted, we're quoted. stuck now with him." <laughs> uh, like when you marry someone and you're too old to leave them and go find someone better. <laughs> yep, that is how you describe the circumstance of being in a band with Mikey Bono. Yeah, Absolutely. settling. I think is the term. Um, <laughs> not quite like you did. I but think it's the same thing. Okay, it's like <laughs> fucking shit. talking about. Your, uh, <laughs> talking about your wife. But it, it's like, okay, I'm so... Okay, I'm in a very committed relationship. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie's going to tear your balls right uh, up your fucking <laughs> face. Yeah. We, and, you know, we welcome uh, Maggie coming on for a proper things, rebuttal. Right? Just so oh, you know. she totally will. She totally um, will. Oh, she's yeah, gonna, she will. She's going to listen. Believe me. Oh, yeah. yeah. If Scott's wife has an opinion, she it will is not shy about vocalizing. <laughs> so it. Mikey's not a fan of Scott's wife. Too. I love Scott. <laughs> <laughs> he hates my baby too. It's yeah. fucked up. <laughs> I, I think that, she cried immediately. Scott, when I, came I the think house the feeling's today. mutual. <laughs> except true. for the except for the last time Mikey held her, <laughs> she tried to suck his tit. Yeah. <laughs> and and Mikey just, cried that just, time. Just, I just, cried <laughs> every time I see your kid. Your kid's adorable. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But you were about to make a point. Uh, my point was um. You're in a long term relationship. I'm, I, I've I'm in a very committed relationship and Scott is married. Yeah. And <laughs> I am terrified. I've been in a relationship for a long time. I am terrified of what it's like outside of a relationship cuz Tinder was made after t- t- Tinder was a thing and I've talked to a lot of my friends about Tinder and it just sounds like the worst thing in the world. It just sounds like this terrible awful thing. That's and, your life jacket? And and and, and, and here's here's my point. Here's my point is it sounds the same as if I'm trying to find a new bass player for the no Illuminarly. <laughs> you know, it just sounds like the worst thing in the world. It's called Bender. So, there's a lot of, <laughs> but there's a lot of unspoken implications in that statement. Oh, we've broken up more relationships on this show. Yeah, and hopefully more tonight. Uh, no. But anyway, no. mine's no. expensive. Please don't. I'm, <laughs> I'm always a big Scott. You got that prenup, right? <laughs> I've always been a big fan of like burning down the existing structure and defenders. rebuilding. So yeah. I mean, if if that if this helps you do that, I am very proud to be part. No gods, no masters. Burn it all down. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I do want to take the time before you go too far with this that. This is the Tom tone of trying to repair whatever damage well, has no, been done in the last five minutes. Gone too far. Because, I always know the tone. Go ahead. Because one of my favorite parts of watching you guys is actually watching Mikey play bass. Have you checked out his right hand? That is so fucking fluid and yes, smooth. Yes, I have. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's the only thing I, I, I can do. I'm actually Not- tone deaf and horrible with my left hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah but you got, the, you got the fingers on the right to just keep it thumb. And Thank you. Allowed it. To an earlier point, though, you uh, uh, you are afraid of being single potentially because of the <laughs> Tinder exists, <laughs> and it's like to me that like says to me it's like it's like well if I'm out of a relationship I have to be on Tinder, and it's like you don't have to be on Tinder. That's, you know, it's, it, well it's weird because it's like it's like no you don't, but. Tinder for the do you, you know what Tinder is? No, I got no. Yeah. Idea. Would you what tell is, Tom what Tinder what is? is? Tom. Yeah, but it's but it's kind of. Like, it's <laughs> Why would he know? Why but it's would he like, know? I think I it's know. what you use before you light a fire. Tinder is a networking uh, social media. Um, <laughs> do you know what that is? Application. It's a hookup app. It's a hookup. Okay. App is short hookup for application. App. Yeah. Um, is and, that the swipe one? The uh, yeah, you swipe left or right, and it's a straight grinder. Yeah, it's the straight grinder. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Do you know what grinder is? Context. Context. <laughs> yeah. context. Grinder, would you I, like? I got it now. Yeah. Would you like? A, would you like an analysis of? No, the, no, I think. I'm so getting, okay, yeah, yeah, I you got see someone's hand. face, you don't like it, you throw it in the trash. You swipe if you like. If you swipe, know, if no you joke. like it, you swipe right. You, if you don't uh, like it, you swipe, you swipe left, left. and they don't trash. show up again. Good oh. trash, good trash. And oh. if someone thinks you're good and you think that they're good too, you guys get to bang. You get now. What if you broke up tomorrow? And you just were single for a little while. <laughs> for a little Couldn't while. Couldn't you just do that? Couldn't you just like be single for like six months, it's a year, so two lonely. years? Yeah. Couldn't you do that? Yeah. Oh, of course. Really? I don't think so. You no. Could do that? I don't think you feel that way. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, he Jim? Still has Jim, are you seeing anybody? I, right? I'm not seeing anybody. Wow. Ooh. How's yeah. that? Now, what about you? Are you seeing anybody? No. No. Cold How long anymore. have you not been seeing somebody? See, as the interviewer, uh, I, I quickly deflect on somebody else. Go I ahead. I love that. I know. Yeah. Eight months. You're good at this. Yeah. Um, well, uh, do you are you on Tinder? No, no. And has it ever even been a consideration? Not really. I just I just don't care. Are you are you <laughs> sort of like uh, when it comes it comes sort of situation? Y- yeah. See, uh, yeah. Yep. It's visceral. It's, yeah. I, don't, I don't think about it. It just happens. Really? So, yeah. I'm just like, that's it. And 
I don't, I don't know. I, I actually appreciate time alone, like on the outside of everything kind of. So. Yeah. I just feel like it would hurt my personal brand too much if I was seen on a <laughs> dating app. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, I use the dating apps. They yeah. don't work. Yeah, you know, because I'm. Don't you worry about your personal brand, though? I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever? Did you ever though? Did you Dude, ever? The guy's drinking PBR did you ever think like I don't want it to be? You know, because any of the other people Speaking that see it and Scott, all that. No, you got a beer? no yeah. not at all. I don't. I mean, you know, I know, I know who I am. Social media can't ruin that. You guys have a song called "Dude, I Like Your Shredder." What is a sh- yeah, What is a shredder? It's a, great tune. it's a sweater that rules. <laughs> okay, is that so? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, at the end of the song, you, you uh, put in a little excerpt from Dawn of the Dead. And uh, it says, nice. uh, there's some quotes. It says, it says uh, we've got to remain logical, rational, we've got to. And then somebody else says, but that's not how people are. And then the first person says, but we've got to. There's no choice. It's that or the end. Does anybody want to comment on that? It's a pretty important sweater. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they came from a show we were at where some guy was wearing a really nice sweater, but I was probably like too drunk to do like a shredder. <laughs> you know, I think it's like maybe. Yeah, and we were like, hey, they were like, hey, what's this new song going to be called? Hey, remember Mikey said that really stupid thing at that show? Yeah, we'll call it that. It's pretty much how the song names go for <laughs> us. There, there really is, yeah, there's we, we, no we meaning to We call the song called Periodic Table of Sharks. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. sense. And we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> but um, but um, that that quote, um, Dawn of the Dead, the original, was orig- was like, is definitely an influence. That quote just always stuck out to me. So I was like, yeah, I'll throw it in there. It kind of seems like it fit too. Why does it stick out to you though? Because um, I, I listened to it and I thought that's an interesting like back and forth we have to wrestle with every day. Well, I I, I liked it because it it wasn't none of the main characters in the movie said it. It was just like r- TV noise going on in the background. But it was like one of the I don't know. It just was one of those moments of like exposition in the movie where the the background noise was really kind of like showing the internalization of like the. That where where humanity was at that point, and that's why I like those zombie movies, is because they the zombie movies of the seventies, like the old George Romero movies, weren't really about the zombies. They were about they were just about where hu- like a commentary on humanity. Does anybody uh, else yes, struggle with that? You know, it gets very emotional to be human, and sometimes in order to like accomplish the mean or the goal, you kind of have you to like clamp logic. down on the emotion and just be like, no, this is what we're doing regardless of like what I'm thinking or feeling. Well, you know, it's like sometimes like things happen. And you're like, man, that made me feel a lot. Kind of. Yeah. Or oh, not even kind of <laughs> sometimes a lot. It's just, it's just a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that happens. <laughs> but you usually end that thought with, but I don't want to commit to it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, it's like when <laughs> so th- you, things make me feel like that a lot, it's usually just like happenstance. Like, well, that happened. That's I was crazy. So do you actively try to, not feel oh no i just don't feel <laughs> oh okay yeah it's, i don't even, i don't have to try when, yeah. when feelings happen it's it's weird do you feel like you're a grumpy <laughs> young old man oh definitely you do okay. yeah would I, you guys agree with that as well yeah i could i could uh, back that up we all are to a degree but he is the grumpiest of oldest, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of oldest we're, we're old enough to the point where we just we see young people doing stuff and we're like what the they have no idea what they're getting themselves into. You're just like, are you joking? We what see are these you bands doing? like going on tour. Like I used to go on tour. It's just like, yeah, we're going on tour. It's gonna be so sweet. I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck when you get just back wait. when you're broke and you hate each yeah, other. Yeah, pretty much. Because it's it's the truth. Here's a, here's another quote from our friend uh, Derek Nielsen. I'm full. Uh, <laughs> he had this to say. He he says we're we're all just Engaged. you know we're we're kind of old. You know we've all been bands for a little too long at this point. We're at the point where we've been inspired for a little too long. We're kind of burnt out. And uh, and that was really <laughs> how did you well, that's a describing great way to sell your band. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give a shit. Uh, we've we've discussed a lot of life philosophy tonight. The band uh, obviously doesn't seem set out to conquer the world. The band's just going to take things as they come. Well, why why would bands not try to do that? Because in your first bands, I think you had that mindset. I definitely. Yeah. Definitely. yeah agreed. Um, yes. And you don't have that anymore. <laughs> now you're just taking it as yeah. it comes, and whatever cool experiences come. You, you're going to enjoy. Yeah, I mean, everybody, you know, you always want to, like, write a record and be heard by the world, but who the fuck's listening? Well, that's why you, <laughs> you, that's, that's why you come on on stage with Jim and Tom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tom, do you have any closing thoughts for our friends the Illuminarily tonight? I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> and you always <laughs> have. It's, that's yeah, yeah, Tom. One of the incredible things. Appreciate awesome. shit out of you. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Definitely. I could come back here anytime and, you know, even if you were pretending oh, or not, but you yeah, yeah, you, you always you definitely could. were very much aware of where I was yeah. and what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Somewhat of a musical home. Yeah. Yeah, it oh, definitely is. You. And yeah. I've, I 
grew up here. That's what you know? we. That's I think that's one of the reasons I wanted to do the, the on stage of Jim and Tom is oh, just because cool. like this is the Phoenix is my roots. You know. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> so uh, next up is uh, a collection of songs by our good friends Lee Luminarly. We thank you guys for coming here tonight. Thank you, Tom Gaffey. Oh, thank you, Jim. Thank you to everybody who was involved in Luminarly. the production behind yeah, us so tonight. Much. We have so oh, many yeah. people that are a yeah, part of this true. thing. We love you. We if you're have, watching yeah. the video, Mikey Incredible. just gave the middle finger, which is, by the way, why See, you should watch the video. There's so you, many Timmy. Easter eggs. <laughs> and I guess that's it. So next up, Illuminarly plays some songs. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah, thank thanks. you, Jim. Thank, thank you, Tom. You. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you.